Thanks to the mega popularity of Geometry Dash, the world effectively has a new version of Loss on its hands. 2.2 has not only seen the release of Geometry Dash Lobotomy, but also the Dash Spider Jump Scare, which shows references to level number 22 called Dash, which features a spider sequence. For those unaware, a spider sequence is one wherein the player instantly teleports to the nearest solid surface. Geometry Dash is known for testing its players to the limit, so to be cruising along and then having to completely switch up a game style can be a jarring experience, but this game isn't known for being easy. In 2022, GD Colin would release a video explaining how Geometry Dash teaches its mechanics, and it is pretty comprehensive at 34 minutes long, garnering 4.3 million views since release. In this video, GD Colin introduces a sneak peek at the now released 2.2 update, taking a look at the aforementioned level 22 and expresses their frustration at how difficult the new spider part is. You have less than half a second to even react to this. It's such a huge new feature. Why is it introduced so casually like it's always been there? Then, on the 23rd of January this year, GD Colin would release a 42 minute long video solely dedicated to level 22, asking, so is Dash a good level? And dedicating roughly three minutes of it to the spider part. Clearly, this has made a big impression on the community, as GD Collins' argument that undertaking the spider part in roughly a second is quite difficult seems to have struck a chord with the rest of the gaming world, as one can see it referenced everywhere. Whilst GD Colin appears to have created the first meme to reference the level spider part template with the classic diamond mining guy, the rest of the internet began taking part, after the players of Geometry Dash started throwing out edits mirroring the spider part into their own fan-made levels. Suddenly, it wasn't just appearing in the game from which it spawned, it was everywhere, and once one recognised the pattern it became known as the Geometry Dash Spider Part Jump Scare, or this part isn't sight readable. And so, in much the same way Lost started as a niche meme and then became a world-spanning unstoppable force of pattern recognition, so too has the Spider Part Jump Scare. The question is, now that it's achieved viral success, will it manage to span generations, as has the Lost meme? Will people in 10 years be asking, is this spider jump scare? In short, the Geometry Dash Spider Part Jump Scare meme manages to hijack pattern recognition in human beings, and ensure it is applied to a rhythm-based action platformer that has managed to keep itself firmly in digital culture for over a decade. What meme would you guys like me to give a lesson in next? Let me know in the comments below. And remember, like and subscribe! <laughs>